And we're standing just outside of a Manhattan criminal court. Uh, directly in front of me, there's a group of NYPD uh, officers that are now setting up uh, barricades just across the street from the court. Just uh, one small piece of evidence of the preparations that local law enforcement is having to do if former President Donald Trump will, in fact, be indicted, as he said he would be on social media over the weekend, uh, the potential arrest and indictment of a former U.S. president would not only be a historic first, but also creates a set of legal, uh, a set of safety and logistical challenges for authorities here in the city. In a Truth Social post on Saturday, former President Donald Trump said he expects to be arrested on Tuesday. I think it's not speculation. It's, it's, it's something that we're hearing. He needs to get ahead of it. While there's no official word yet from the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, grand jury proceedings are nearing the end, with the last-minute witness set to testify Monday at the request of Trump's legal team, according to a source familiar with the investigation. This would be historically groundbreaking uh, moves for a misdemeanor um, to try and bring it up to a, a charge where you're arraigning a former president. Trump is being investigated for his role in an alleged hush money scheme involving payments made in 2016 by his then attorney Michael Cohen to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. An indictment would be a historic first and could make Trump an even more divisive figure on the campaign trail. It does drastically change the paradigm as we go into the 24 election. Echoing his calls for action after the 2020 election, Trump told his social media followers to, quote, protest and take our nation back. If what this to happen, we want calmness out there. Federal, state and local authorities now preparing for the possibility of unrest. We're always uh, monitoring uh, the situation here as best we can, and uh, we obviously don't want to see uh, any activity uh, grow violent. To that point, uh, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg sent a memo to his staff over the weekend it, uh, reassuring them that he's working with law enforcement here in New York City to ensure uh, that everything is safe and that everyone who works in these offices uh, can come here and do their job and do so safely. Uh, that was, of course, in response to the potential protests. Also, Bragg seeming to be responding to that uh, social media post by the former president president saying that his office or any investigation that he is currently in the middle of would not be intimidated. Reporting from Lower Manhattan, Gloria Paspino.